Now, traders are focused only on the results of the FMC meeting. Most of them are sure that the US monetary authorities will raise the benchmark rate by 75 basis points instead of 50 basis points. The speculation uh, intensified after the publication of the US inflation report. However, traders may also pay attention to other important macroeconomic events that will take place later this week. Investors are sure that the aggressive approach chosen by the US Fed may affect other central banks. Thus, the Reserve Bank of Australia has raised the benchmark rate two times already, regardless of the federal election in May. As a rule, central banks do not take radical measures during such elections. What's more, the Reserve Bank of Australia may tighten its monetary policy even more, taking into account the inflation growth and the labor market conditions. On the first day, Australia is going to disclose its employment to change figures. According to the forecast, the unemployment rate may decline, whereas the number of employed people may increase by 25,000. In other words, the country is approaching full employment, signaling readiness for a new interest rate hike. Against the backdrop, the Australian dollar may gain in value. While the Reserve Bank of Australia is just considering a new key interest rate hike, the Bank of England is likely to take such a decision. The regulator is going to raise the benchmark rate for the fifth time in a row. The interest rate may climb to 1.25% from 1%. Notably, at the previous meeting, three of nine Bank of England's members voted for a more considerable raise, raise of 50 basis points. Markets warmly welcomed this news. That's why on Thursday the pound sterling will have a chance to recap some of its losses. During the United States session, traders may receive an unpleasant surprise. Recently, the US macroeconomic reports have been signaling the upcoming recession. High inflation and the lower consumer activity will obviously add a fuel to the problem. In addition, data on the US construction sector will hardly encourage traders. According to the forecast, housing starts will continue falling, thus reflecting a decline in consumer activity, which is the main driver of the US economy. Under the current conditions, traders are likely to avoid risks, thus boosting the greenback as a safe haven asset. At the same time, the Japanese yen dropped to its lows. The situation could be explained by different monetary policies. The Bank of Japan sticks it to an ultra low stance. That's why on Friday the regulator may keep the key interest rate at the same level of minus 0.10%, whereas bond yields will remain near zero. The European Central Bank is also refraining from a higher interest rates, while in Japan inflation is far from the Bank of Japan's targeted levels. In the Eurozone, consumer prices are rising four times faster than needed. On a Friday, the European Union will publish its final report on the Consumer Price Index for May. The preliminary estimate showed acceleration to 8.1%. A new portion of disappointing data from the United States will close the trading week. Once investors price in negative forecasts for the US economy caused by lower consumer activity, they will learn about a decline in industrial production. According to the forecast in May, the industrial production growth slackened to 4.9% from 6.4% on a yearly basis. This information may lead to a slump in the US stock market. And we will monitor the market reaction to the above-mentioned reports, subscribe to our channel and follow changes in market sentiment with us. Any comments, questions and offers are welcomed. We wish you profitable trading and see you soon.